All right, so let's go over the pose editor and some of the posing tools that we have. Before we get started in the actual pose editor, I want to show one feature that may not be completely apparent. So I'm going to go ahead and put a quick pose on our leg here, something like that. If we right click, select our foot control, we right click on the pose editor, we can copy that pose, we can paste it onto a different frame or paste it onto our opposite control, like that. And you can do that with any of the left, right controls, so hands, fingers, whatever you have. Now, onto the pose editor, uh, again, you can choose from your projects, you can choose from categories, we'll go over categories when we get into saving poses. You can search for a pose and you can load all your poses, uh, regardless of what category you have selected. Um, in this uh, first category of hand poses, these are all partial poses, which means they are only um, poses that were saved to a selection of controls, so they're not full body. If we go ahead and click on these, we can see that they're being applied to our right hand. And if we want them on our left hand, just left uh, right click and do load mirrored pose. Now if we want to change categories to idle poses, we can look at some full body poses here. So we can left click to apply the pose. We can right click and we can load that pose onto a selection of controls. We can load a mirrored pose. We can load a ghost pose. Now a ghost pose is a basically a mesh version of the pose. So we can move and we can rotate this guy out. And wherever we put him, when we hit snap, that's where the rig will go and it will be in that exact same pose. So let's hit snap. The rig goes there. And we can do the same thing for load mirror ghosts. So again, right click, load mirror ghosts. It's going to create a mirror of the pose, then a mesh of that. And now we can rotate, move, translate, do whatever you need to do, snap it. And now our rig is in that new position. You can also find a pose on the disk or delete the pose. So let's say find pose on disk. This will give us access to our bitmap file and the uh, text file, which has all the pose data itself. Let's go ahead and close that. Now let's look at saving a pose. So uh, to save a full body pose, just click on save pose. You'll be able to choose a project to save the pose into, choose a category. So I'm gonna add new category. I'm going to call this test and choose a pose name. So we'll call this sample pose. Then in the viewport down here, you can actually go ahead and actually um, create your little thumbnail and then hit save pose. And if I go to my new test category, I have my sample pose. So let's go ahead and zero out all of our controls and load it in. And again, uh, you have all the same functionality, so you can load a mirror of that, the ghosts, and all that stuff. So that's basically the pose editor. The save pose selection works exactly like the save pose, except it will only save whatever controls you have selected. And uh, next up, we'll go over the last of our remaining tools.